All right, good evening, everybody. Today we're going to be doing the homework lesson for 7-1, uh, Likelihood and Probability. And we're going to start with the uh, practice and problem solving course uh, number eight. A spinner has eight equal size sections. Uh, six of the sections are green. What is the probability that the spinner will land on green? Well, we said that six of the sections out of the eight sections are green. So this means six out of eight. Or, well, think about it. if we have six over eight, we can go ahead and reduce them both by three uh, because eight, or excuse me, by two. Eight divided by two is four, and six divided by two will be three. Now we get a fraction here that we need to solve with three divided by four. Should give me 0.75 in my calculator. When I move my decimal over two spots, that should be 75%. B says, use words to describe the probability. It is blank that the spinner will land on green. Well, since there are six out of eight sections, it is likely that the spinner will land on green. Marcus is rolling a number cube with sides labeled one through six. The probability that the number cube will show 10 is what? Well, if the dice only has one through six, it's gonna be impossible for it to show 10. So there's a 0% probability. It is blank that the number Q will show 10. Impossible. There's no way if you have a 0% chance of getting the number, that makes it impossible to roll that number. Of the marbles in a bag, three are yellow, two are red, and two are blue. Sandra will, Sandra will randomly choose one marble from the bag. The probability that Sandra will choose a blue marble from the bag is what out of blank? Well, let's see. Of the marbles in the bag, three are yellow, two are red, and two are blue. That's a total of three plus two plus two. That's seven marbles. So uh, if it's asking what one will be blue and there's only two blue, that's two out of seven. So uh, the bag is two out of seven or that's two over seven. It is blank that Sandra will choose a blue marble. Well, it's only two out of seven. I would say it's unlikely that she's gonna get a blue marble. Not very good odds. Let's try number 11. Suppose you have a bag with 20 uh, letter tiles in it and three of the tiles are labeled Y. Suppose a second bag has 500 letter tiles in it, and 170 of the tiles are labeled Y. From which bag are you more likely to pick a tile that is labeled Y? Well, the first one said, uh, sorry about that, 20 uh, tiles with three of them Y. That's three out of 20. If I put that in my calculator, I'd have to take three divided by 20, and that would give me uh, the percent of the chance of doing it. Uh, of getting a Y. Uh, now, if I take the second bag, it would be 170 out of 500. And I'm just going to say that sounds like a better chance to me of getting that Y. The second bag, uh, 3 out of 20 is equal to 15 out of 100. Remember, we can take 20 and times it by 5 to get 100, but then we have to multiply uh, 3 to it as well. So five times three would be 15. 15 over 100 is 15%. And 170 over 500, well, we have to take 500 and divide it by five to get 100. So we would take 170 and divide it by uh, five as well, and that would give me 34. So that's 34% chance. So it is more likely to pick a tile that is labeled Y from the second bag if a tile is selected and then replaced before selecting the next tile and 100 tiles are selected this way. You can expect to draw about 34 uh, tiles labeled Y in the second bag compared to 15 tiles labeled Y in the first bag. For those that are having trouble understanding it, basically we had to make the denominator the same to find out what the numerator would be. And uh, we realized that we had to take 20 and multiply it to 100 and take 500 and divide it by five in order to get a similar denominator. Whatever we divided or multiplied to the bottom had to be multiplied or divided to the top. 
And that's how we got our numerator. Once we knew that, we realized what is the chance out of 100 for both bags? Well, we're going to number 12 now. <clears throat> so suppose you have a bag of 40 marbles and 20 of them are white. If you choose a marble without looking, the probability that you'll choose a white marble is 20 out of 40. Well, describe that prob probability. Well, 20 divided by 40 is going to give me 0.5, and that's about a 50% chance. The probability is 20 over 40, or 1 half. This means the likelihood of choosing a white marble can be described as either or neither likely or unlikely. Since it's a 50-50 chance, you can't say that it's likely you're going to get a white marble or it's unlikely. You have an equal chance of getting uh, a white marble or a marble that is not white. Number 13 says, suppose Nigel has a bag of colored wristbands and he chooses one without looking. The bag contains a total of 25 wristbands and six of the wristbands are blue. What is the probability Nigel will choose a blue wristband? Well, that's six out of 25. It is likely, unlikely, or neither likely nor unlikely that Nigel will choose a blue wristband. Well, 6 out of 25 is unlikely. That's not even half of 25, right? So that means it's more likely you're going to get a color that is not going to be blue. Number 14 says a box contains four equal size cards labeled 1, 3, 5, and 7. Suppose Tim selects one card from the box. What is the probability that Tim will select a card labeled 4? Well, none of these cards contain four. So, uh, looks like we accidentally put number 15 on first, so I'm going to go to it. Sorry about that. Henry is going to color a spinner with 10 equal size sections. Three of the sections will be orange, and seven of the sections will be purple. Is the spinner fair? If so, explain why. If not, explain how to make it fair. If there's 10 equal sections and seven of them are purple, that is definitely not fair. There will be more purple sections than orange sections. Henry can color five sections orange and five sections purples if you wanted to make it fair. Now that we're done with number 15, let's go back to number four. Uh, so what was the probability that Tim will select a card labeled four? Remember, none of these cards up here have four on them. So that is going to be a zero chance out of four or a zero percent chance. Okay, B says, what is the probability that Tim will select a card labeled with a number that is less than six? Well, out of these la labels here, we've got one, three, five, and seven, and it was four equal size cards. So that tells me uh, that there's only one, or the, well, actually, that he will select a card labeled less than six. There's three out of four that are going to be less than six. So three out of four is three over four. Three divided by four will give you 0.75. We move that decimal over twice. That's a 75% chance that uh, you will select a card labeled with a number less than six. Uh, we've got, what is the probability that Tim will select a card labeled with an odd number? Well, odd numbers are like one, three, five, and seven. Well, all of them are odd. So that means you've got a 100% chance, four out of four chance, that, that he's going to select an odd number. All right, number 16. Uh, it says, I'm going to make some room here for it. Uh, without being able to calculate probability, describe the likelihood that the following event will occur. All 21 students in a class share the same birthday. Well, <laughs> uh, what is the likelihood of that, right? <laughs> so uh, it is possible, it is possible that one or more students in a class would have the same birthday, but it is highly unlikely, <laughs> though not impossible, that all 21 students would share the same birthday. All right, that's all the homework for tonight. Uh, I'll see you on the next lesson and have a great one.